right guys, today we're talking with Nicole and uh, she has a YouTube channel called Camper Tantrum. Yep. And uh, we met just a couple of years ago now, right? Yeah, the last ITR. So I wanted to take a chance to introduce Nicole to all of you and show off her awesome van. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Hello. <laughs> So let's uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what the heck you're doing out here and what you're doing living in a van. Well, um, I work um, in, in Central Florida. I'm a, a RF engineer and um, I find it a little bit more convenient to live in a van as opposed to paying, you know, $3,000 in mortgage or, you know, $1,500 a month for a small apartment. So living in my van gives me the freedom to travel and be a, a nomad on the weekends and uh, work nine to five Monday through Friday. Nice. So you're saving a lot of money. I sure am. Awesome. And you mentioned you do actually still own a house, but you're renting it. I'm renting it out. Yeah. Nice. That's a great way to have some passive income and exactly. save it because you're not paying rent. Right. Very yep. nice. Yep. All right. You want to tell us a little bit about your van? So I have a Ram Pro Master 2500. It's on the 159 inch wheelbase and um, it's a 2018. I bought it in 2018 with about 2,800 miles on it. I mean, 28,000 miles 28, on it. <laughs> nice. Yep. And you, it was a cargo van, and you've done everything on the inside. Correct. Yourself? It was a completely empty cargo van, and between myself and some friends and my boyfriend, we all um, kind of like got together and did what we've done so far. My family, my uncle helped me put the air condition on nice. and put in the uh, Max Ear fan. Cool. And um, I have 320 watts of solar and 200 amp hour batteries. Um, they're lithium battle borns. Nice. Well, you wanna take a little peek on the inside? Sure thing, let's do it. All right. And you do have a little companion with you? I do, this is Dolce. He's an 11 year old toy Yorkie and uh, he pretty much goes everywhere I go. Oh, he's a real <laughs> sweetheart. Thank you. Nice. Uh, I like your screen here. You wanna tell us about that? So this is a house screen. You can get them on Amazon. Um, they're about twenty or thirty dollars for the width, and it fits perfectly um, on a sliding van door. Nice. So, so you just have that you're using like clamps or magnets? They're or? magnetized, so okay. you can uh, just pull them together, and the whole thing will magnet. Nice, perfect. Yep. Looks like a perfect fit. It does. Yeah, it works really well. And then when you want to open it, you can just because the van is also magnetized, you just right. clamp it to the sides of the van. Very nice. Okay, so we're now on the interior of your van and right off the bat, it just looks really nice. You've got this really nice living space here and you actually have a decent amount of open floor space. Yeah. Um, you want to tell us how you did this? So uh, because I had a house prior um, or I was living in a home prior, I kept most of my home furniture and this is just my entry table which um, I tossed my keys on when I came in the house and I took the, the um, a section of it and cut out for my sink. Nice. And um, this is the name of my van, Bob Van Gogh. <laughs> From the sink cutout, I made this little cutting board right here. So this is a good little uh, cover for the sink when I'm traveling. You know, you put yeah. things in the sink, <laughs> yeah. and uh, this covers it, keeps it from from things flying off. And yeah, I just pretty much use it the same way that it was designed to be used, except I put it in the van. This cabinet right here, I found it on the side of the road in my neighborhood. Someone nice. was doing a kitchen renovation, so I scooped this up because it was only about um, about four feet long, and I figured it'll work perfectly right over the kitchen counter. And I spray painted it black. It used to be brown. And I put these little handles on. So the way this works, uh, the way this works, I just uh, use these little hair ties oh, nice. <laughs> to keep it from flying open. Yep. And everything is Velcro, nice. and I have the spring hooks to keep it from popping down on me. Nice. So when you want to close it, you just pop it, and nice. it shuts. Very creative. I like it. Yeah. And it looks, these look like they, you know, match. It just <laughs> looks kind of like one big unit. It you know, does, it, yeah. It's very, it looks very professional. Thank you. I, this is just one can of spray paint, actually. Nice. <laughs> so. And then you've got this piece of furniture next to it. This, because I wasn't so sure about how am I going to curve my, my wood cuts to make a closet, um, I had this piece of furniture in my house. Um, it was part of my TV console, so I separated it out, cut the legs to fit, 
and left a little gap at the top so I can stuff things up here okay. and because of the curve of the van um, I have that extra space up here at the top so it worked out really well for a closet I have my hanging clothes in here oh, very nice. <laughs> nice. lots of jackets and sweaters because it does get cold here at night yeah. so yeah I keep my hanging clothes up there yeah. and then you looks like a very nice comfortable good size bed in back so this is a queen size um, short uh, queen. Okay. It's made for an RV. I got it short, even though I've seen other vans where a full size queen would fit back there, but the short queen works out really well. Um, it's made for an RV. It's very comfortable. It's a 10 inch memory foam. And um, yeah, it sleeps. I can sleep the long way, or sorry, across the, the back, but most of the times I'm short, so I sleep this okay. way sometimes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks like a nice, big, thick, uh, comfy mattress. Yeah, that's one of the things that's really important when you live in a van. You want to get the best night's sleep possible because it kind of like dictates how your next day is going to go. Sure you know? Sure does. <laughs> yep. And it looks like you keep your Dometic 12 uh, volt fridge down under the bed in the front end there. I do. I, it's on a slide. Okay. So I slide it all the way back. It's also wrapped in its um, insulated uh, cover. Okay. So it keeps everything nice and temperature controlled. Nice. And um, this is where I keep uh, all of my controls for my my uh, MPP charge controller. And these are a few switches that I have connected to my battery. Nice. And a little seating area storage. Is yeah. That? So inside here is my um, my bucket, <laughs> my toilet. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah it's, it's just. Um, has a handle nice. and dash spot. Cool. yeah I keep my laundry down there yeah. just pretty much anything um, you know bathroom related stays okay. down on, on that side and you were saying this is kind of a new addition you're playing around with correct yeah so this is a new lagoon um, table arm it swings 360 degrees nice. and um, it keeps um, it keeps me keeps things out of the way when you need when you don't need it and I also use it sometimes to keep this toilet box lid open uh, okay so it swings all the way around wow it really articulates right and um, when I want to open the toilet I swing this over so this it's way like a little prop yeah so okay. it keeps everything you know yeah. it works out really well very cool Okay, so back to your kitchen sink here. I noticed you have a foot pump. How does that work? So I have this um, really cool faucet that it sh it's on a shut off. So right now if I were to pump, nothing was, would happen. Um, the foot pump is connected to this water jug right here. Okay. And what I do for to get the water to come out, I bend my the water faucet arm down so that it's spraying into the sink and I switch it on. And now when I pump, you've got water the water flows yeah and that works like it's it looks like it's pretty effective you it get is, quite yeah. a bit of water for each push on i that. sure do nice. yeah it works out really well i can do a load of dishes or you know wash up in the sink very nice now where is that water draining to it drains down into this uh one and a half gallon or maybe two gallon um uh i guess this was a gas can okay <laughs> so yeah so you've got to dump that every so often every so often okay, yeah okay cool and of course I've been filming while sitting on her passenger seat which she has set up on a swivel so she's got a nice comfy seat to sit um, facing into her living area which is, is very nice yep great okay and then the other thing of course we notice about your bed area is it is up quite high and you've got plenty of ceiling space so you still have a lot of headroom so you must have a good amount of storage in back there. I sure do because the Dometic fridge is um, pretty big so that slides all the way back there. Okay. I also have enough room for uh, two storage buckets as well as uh, my bike is stored back there and um, my generator so when I travel I, I keep my bike and my generator underneath the bed as well. Okay now you do have a very good uh, solar power setup but I did notice that you have an AC unit which typically can't be run off solar so that would be why you have a generator correct okay. yeah so my generator runs my air condition even if I'm in a campgrounds or at a, a national park where there are hookups um, I do have 110 I can plug in but my okay. generator runs my air condition really well nice and you are from Florida and spend your time in Florida so that's pretty much needed needed yeah nice I also have a max air fan yeah. Um, on the thermostat so that works out really well in conjunction with the air condition. Nice. 
Take a little peek back here. It looks very plush and comfy. <laughs> now, do you have rear windows on this van? I do. You do, so you can get a view out if you want. Yes. Great. Well. Okay, so I'm also an artist, and I've taken the um, Bob Ross um, course so to become a certified Bob Ross painter. And this is one of the pieces that I've done um, on the back here. It was a pretty plain piece of wood, as you can see. Um, so I just uh, figured I'd put something on there and... This is one of my first, uh, my first Bob Ross pieces that I've ever done. I'm going to nice. probably do something on this side, and it'll probably be a desert scene, um, you know, because it's pretty plain over there. Yeah, well. very nice. Bob oh. would be proud. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you have some nice little window covers for your front windows there. I do. Yeah, these are made out of Reflectix. I carved it to the size of the window with um, an X-Acto knife. And on one side, I put um, some blackout felt. And on the other side is Reflectix, and it's all wrapped in Reflectix. Okay. So with some spray adhesive, um, I have the Reflectix glued in there. And they fit really well in the windows um, on the black outside when I'm in the city. And when I'm out here and you need the sun protection, you can flip it around. Of course, it won't fit there, but it will fit on the other side Switch of the window. Windows. Yeah, nice. so it works out really well. Very creative and yeah. effective. Thanks. Nice. Well, Nicole, I want to thank you again for giving us a tour and letting us get to know you a little bit. Absolutely. And I, I will remind everybody to check out your YouTube channel, Camper Tantrum. I'll leave a link in the video description. Thanks. Stop by and say hi. Yep, you for know, sure. Wish, wish you the best. Thank Great you. to see you again. Good seeing you too, Brian.